Many, many months ago, way back when I started this channel even, I got my hands on one of the best Premiere Pro plugins I had ever used, and I still use to this day. It has changed the way that I edit videos as a whole. It was called Excalibur, and I think a lot of people who are really into video editing, they know what this is. It allows you to use hotkeys to perform actions inside of Premiere Pro. Well, that was an absolute game changer for me, and I think a lot of people enjoyed that video. I made a free pack showcasing all of the stuff that it could do, and it's had over 10,000 downloads since that video went out, which is absolutely bonkers. But way back then, when that video came out, I got a teaser for something that has just been released. And this is like, this is over a year in development, but that's what we're looking at today. It's called Quiver, and it is another absolute game changer, the way that Excalibur was for me back then. I'm just so excited for this one. It's been a year in the making, and it's finally here. Okay, so this is a bog standard empty timeline. I've got something over here. That's just a little sound effect so that we can do a playback. Traditionally, if we wanted to add a sound effect, we would grab this, drag it over, and that's not exactly tedious. But when you have hundreds and hundreds of things over here in your bins and stuff like that, it can be so annoying. If you want one meme sound effect, or you want a specific glitch overlay, or something like that, and finding that one specific thing can be tedious. This is where Quiver comes in. This is the Quiver dock, and you can undock this. By the way, you can move it around, put it wherever you want. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to keep it here for now. You're going to want to grab your sound effect and just drag it over to Quiver. Super, super simple. And what happens is whenever you press this button right here, it's going to automatically place that sound effect. Again, super simple. But then what if we press the button again? It's going to place it underneath. And then what if we press it again? It's going to place it underneath. And you can actually change the variables right here. So there are methods we can overwrite. So let's go ahead and try it here. Press the button again. It's going to go on top of the other clips. You can also select specific audio tracks. So let's go audio two and method. We'll just keep overlay for now. Delete these. And now whenever you push that button, it's going to start on layer two, like so, and then go to layer three, layer four. And that way you're avoiding ever running into issues where you're overlapping certain audio tracks and things like that. Now that in itself would be a really, really cool feature. Like I say, integrating with a bunch of other sound effects and things in your bins that you would normally have trouble finding. It makes life a lot easier. But then there are also other use cases for this and ways that you don't even have to press the button in Quiver. Just bear with me as I explain this because I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible for people who may be relatively new to video editing and hotkeys and things like that. So rather than pressing this guy right here, what you want to do is go up to Window, Extensions, and then Spellbook. Once that is open, you'll be presented with this window right here. You're going to want to find Quiver, which is this little category. There are a bunch of different categories depending on which plugins you have, but Quiver is the one that we're going to need for now. Then you're going to want to find item number one, number two, number three, number four, and they all correspond to the items you have over here. So this right now is item number one. You can see at the very top, it says number one. As you add more, it would show more numbers. But then you come over here and you can assign keyboard shortcuts to activate what you have over here. So this sound effect right here, you can summon by pressing Shift, Control, Alt, and A. And these of course can be customized. So you could do something like this, change it to H. But for now, we're gonna keep it nice and simple and just keep these combinations. And me being an absolute geek, I'm going to open up my stream deck. I'm going to grab a hotkey action like so. And you can do this with a bunch of different tools. It doesn't have to be a stream deck. It's just what I like using. And then we're going to go control, shift, alt, and A. And that is the button that corresponds with item number one, which will then place the blade sound effect. So let's zoom out of this and just start playing back the video. Now let's imagine we're watching, just because I haven't sourced any video for this, let's imagine we're watching a medieval fight and we want a clash sound effect. Now push the button and it's already added. Don't have to do anything. Uh, what happens if there's two clash sound effects? Tap the button twice and two sound effects are added. How cool is that? And this doesn't just work with sound effects like I said earlier on. We could do one of these, which is a little disco kind of thing. And then we could add in one of these, which is a cool little, whoa, that's really trippy actually. We've got these two clips and I want to add a glitch transition between the two. So we're going to come over here and grab my glitch transition and put it into Quiver and then you can see up here, it says number two. As we're watching the video, play along and doing its thing, we can just tap the button and a transition 
is automatically made for us. When you have huge sequences and videos with hundreds and hundreds of assets, finding one specific thing and dragging it from your bins to put it above three, four different layers of video, and it just gets so annoying and tedious, and this solves that problem. I think if you're a very casual editor and you can't see the value at this point, it just won't be for you, and that's absolutely fine. But I think people who work with a lot of clients and you edit a lot of videos on a regular basis, this is a big deal. And again, just like I did with Excalibur, I see this changing the way that I edit my footage and my videos. And I just love seeing people innovate and creating things like this. The final use case I wanted to demonstrate to you, if I go up here to motion graphics, I could grab one of my Mogats, a pre-made template to tell people to subscribe to my channel. Something like, yeah, this, this right here. It's something you should do. You know, it, it works with the video. If you want custom made Mogats where you can edit all the usernames and the pictures, there'll be a link in the description. But let's grab one of those. Uh, we'll grab this one here. It's kind of an old one, actually, but throw that down there. And you can see that you know, it's pretty much already done because that's just how I make my stuff. You could go in, tweak certain information and things like that. But then let's open Quiver and we can actually just grab this Mogurt and put it in over here. And this doesn't have to be a subscribe call to action. This could be a transition. It could be a text effect, anything like that. And then let's just clear the timeline. Say we're watching a YouTube video. Oh, now would be a really good time to tell people to subscribe to the channel, tap the button and the Mogurt is already added. For some reason it looks kind of glitchy because it's spawned in there out of the blue, but look at that. It's, it's beautiful. We don't have to do anything. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I'll leave a link down below where you can check out Quiver. And while you're there, please check out Excalibur as well. If you don't already have it, it's an incredible plugin. And like I said, it changed the way that I edit video. It's sped up my workflow. Everything that I do in terms of video editing, it's made it a hundred times easier. Just check it out. Try it if you can. The link in the description isn't an affiliate one. I don't make anything from it. I just think that if you're not using it, you're missing out. I love your faces. You're amazingly beautiful. And I'll catch you in the next one.